women's group versus Hyde. And so I've got this spreadsheet open. Um, and a lot of times I've seen people hide things. Like if you can see on this budget, it's a one year budget. And so people sometimes will just hide all the extra years that are displayed here so they don't have to see all the zeros. Um, that's fine. Um, but if you ever want to see them again, it, you have to unhide them. So I'm just gonna show you an example. So if I click on the I for this column and click and hold all the way across to like, I don't know, um, through M, and I right click at the top here, it gives me an option to hide. So now I don't have to see them, that's great. But if I want to see them again, I have to click on the co column before it to the column after it, like that, and then click, right click again and click unhide. And then if I want to hide, hide it again, I have, yes, go ahead, Rebecca. Can you zoom in just a, just a smidge? Yes, thank you. thank you. I wondered about that. I know when you're looking at it on a laptop, which I usually do, it's so hard to see. Um, so I'll just do that quickly again. I, um, so I'm gonna hide I through K and right click, hide. So now year two is gone. Um, and if I want to see it again, because I'm afraid that maybe the salary escalated <clears throat> in year two and my total's not matching my year one budget, then I have to select these again, right click, unhide. And now I can see them again, which is great. But if I want to hide them again, because now I've gotten rid of all of those things, I have to go through that whole process again. Um, so what I have found is that there, um, Hold on a second, I have to scooch this over so I can see my tabs. Um, so in the data tab, in your ribbon, so data, um, there's a section over at the right called outline and there's a group and ungroup. Um, your, your version may look a little bit different, but it should be kind of in um, that general area. So if this time I say, I want to, um, I'm gonna select, everything except year one. So I'm gonna to have to scroll over a little bit. So I've got it zoomed in. So I'm gonna go through the end of year five. So that's column Q. So I just clicked on the first one, held the mouse down and drug it all the way across to the last one. Then if I click group, it gives me this new little line across the top um, that if I scroll all the way to the right, you can see there's a little minus sign here. If I click that button, it collapses everything. I'll scroll back over so you can see where we are. So now I just have year one. I can click the plus sign and it opens up again. I can click this uh, line at the top and it will close again. So it's really handy for hiding things, but making them so that you can open and close, open and close that same grouping. Um, the other way that you can open and close those, which I think is really handy, and, and I use this more for the for the rows than I do for the columns, but there's a one and a two up here, and it can, it can be stacked if you have your grouping in a subset of a group set of row, columns or rows. But two will open them up, one will collapse them all. And so I want to show you as an example just in the rows. So for this one, um, I have just one key personnel, Chris Hemsworth, what are you going to do? Um, <laughs> so if I don't want to see all the extra key personnel rows, because this spreadsheet is a little long, I can just select the empty rows again, like I did with the columns, and click group. And now I have those um, all grouped together, I can click one and they collapse. And then I can go down to the next section and click these two and hit group and then click one to collapse. So you can see how it's starting to build, but I've got different ones in different sections. And so if I'm clear down at the bottom, I can still do the one and the two, no matter where I am in the spreadsheet, to make those things expand and collapse. Uh, so I have found that group is better um, and, and people that are looking at my spreadsheet after me, um, I have found that it's easier to open it just to make sure I didn't put something I did, wasn't supposed to and then to close it up again um, so that it's more compressed.
um, when it's all yeah. done. Yeah, I always make sure that I leave like this one for the, the road that says D equipment, and then it gives the total. I always make sure that summary row stays visible. Um, so I would only hide the, the two rows underneath it. And that way I always know that there's nothing in it, but yes.